All right, guys, I've got a special one for you tonight. It's looking at Blissbox. Uh, this is the one-stop shop to plug in any of your old school controllers and play them like they were originally intended. Uh, so get ready. Okay, so once you guys uh, get your uh, Bliss box, uh, what you will get is uh, this box here, as well as a ton of cables here. Um, you can see that each one of these uh, cables are essentially uh, HDMI's with the original uh, end of the controller here. So this looks like what the uh, NES or N64, and uh, yeah, everything's tagged there. And there's the H uh, HDMI there. Um, so yeah, you get a lot of them, and uh, I'll, I'll put in the description below the uh, the website where you can download or download the uh, software to get this thing started, as well as uh, the download to actually get the box. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box, um, and here we go. So what you'll get is just a little thank you card. Um, congratulations and here's the websites that you'll go to uh, get support as well as uh, download uh, APIs and then what you'll do is you'll just get this uh, little hockey puck and uh, there's a port for each one of the uh, uh, players uh, it supports four players and you know as you know the retro uh, systems don't all support four players uh, but you know this has the potential of doing that, uh, you know, based on the emulator uh, that you're using. So you're going to notice that we've got a plug here. We've got sort of this uh, reset button. Uh, well, reset for the device, I should say. I've not had to use that before. Um, and this uh, unit here, what you're going to do is just plug in the end of uh, this into it. Here, I'll actually go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to just plug this into one of my USBs and then this other end is going to go essentially in here. So once you've done that, your, your Bliss box is essentially uh, ready to go. And I'm going to try to do this one-handedly. Sorry guys, if I had a tripod this would be easier. Here we go. Alright, so it's plugged in here and for the first time when you plug this into your computer uh, basically your uh, computer is going to try to find some drivers um, I've already done this so I'm not going to be able to see it but it'll show up in the uh, bottom right corner of your display it'll say uh, you know port one is ready port two is ready uh, it's basically just setting up drivers for each one of these um, you're going to notice a little button off to the side of each one of these uh, uh, HDMI's they're kind of hard to see but you can kind of see in the reflection um, you'll actually press that uh, when you want the device to read your uh, controller so um, you know if I were to plug this uh, well one of the uh, controllers into uh, you know the second port this is my uh, player 2 uh, I would need to press this button to actually recognize the controller uh, on the first run um, but once you've used a controller on that uh, while your computer is on you don't need to press the reset button again um, so what i've got is a uh, auto hotkey uh, that i converted into an xe program uh, so on my uh, hyperspin i've got on my wheels a bliss box uh, resetter uh, some of you guys have asked uh, what that's all about and th this is what it's all about um, I, I basically want to put this in my cabinet and I'm basically saying when I go onto my hyperspin wheel, I can just press that and then the API will come up. If I push play, uh, you know, one, it will reset player one for the first time and uh, we're ready to go. So that's all that is. Um, but it is important to know that there is a reset button on each one of these. Um, 
the uh, the guy that uh, does Blissbox, uh, Sean, he uh, uh, sends out updates pretty regularly. Uh, we're now in 2.0 land, so um, it's got a new fancy API, and whenever you do flash uh, this drive, uh, what you've got to do is when you decide to update, you have to hold this uh, this button down on each one of these ports. You'll have to do each port one at a time. So you'll plug in the uh, uh, the Bliss box, and then you'll go to the API and you'll press update. I'll show you guys how to do that on the computer here in a, a moment. And you've got to hold down this uh, this button, and this would update, you know, player two's port. And you would just have to hold on to that and just you know uh, wait till it it loads up. Uh, it, once it's successful, you'll go through each uh, one of these ports. So you'll go to player three. You'll hold down the button and uh, you know hope it uh, updates. And uh, yeah, it, it it always works, guys. It's just there's a little love in it. If you guys have ever flashed anything, you you understand that it's kind of a, a tinkering system. But it, it always works. It's just a matter of if you're holding that button down uh, firmly and you're waiting patiently. So that's it guys on the Bliss Box. It works out of box. And what I'll do is I'll uh, uh, swap over to my computer um, after I show you a couple more things here. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to plug in, um, sorry. I'm just gonna plug in the controller for player one. Sorry, now that you guys are uh, motion sickness uh, here. All right, so plugged in player one um, here. I just wish I had three hands. So this is uh, going to be the uh, uh, N64 controller. Um, you can essentially use any controller for any system, um, but that's all I had to do is just plug in the, the end and then I've got to find the controller to plug into the other end and it's, uh, it's golden. So I would push this uh, start button, uh, a reset button next to the USB port or the HDMI port. And then I would just start playing. Um, so there was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys before I uh, swap back to my computer. And that is, I found some weird things online and it, uh, it it's gonna work out here. Uh, I, I haven't put this in my cabinet yet, but as I was talking to you guys uh, about earlier, I'm trying to, um, start this box uh, from my wheel, which I have successfully done. Um, so I can put this box in my cabinet without having to, uh, you know, push that reset button each time uh, when I boot up my computer. I found these things for, uh, I, I think, maybe five bucks. I mean, these things were cheap. It's a USB, or sorry, it's a uh, HDMI uh, at the end of it. So what I can do is I can plug this HDMI cable into the, uh, the Bliss Box here, and I can essentially put this Bliss Box in my cabinet, and then I can feed this button here into my cabinet somewhere. I'm thinking about up here by my USB port, so I might put two on this side and then two on this side. So then I'll have all the ports here, or I might put them sort of right in this uh, panel here, maybe um, here. You can kind of see there's my keyboard there. There's a little panel here. I might put them somewhere here. I'm not sure, but they fit right. I mean, perfect. I, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier here, but what I, I mean, these are the size of a standard button here. So, you, I mean, you can see here I place this right over the top here. I mean, it's it's a spinning image of an arcade button. So the plan is, is I'm going to uh, put this, the Bliss Box uh, into my cabinet, have all of these uh, four ports plugged in, and I'm going to have uh, this outlet uh, displayed flush up against my, uh, my cabinet. Unreal, guys, it's just like a button. So, Instead of plugging this guy into my bliss box, I'm going to plug this guy into here. And it, I've tested it, it works amazingly. 
I'm pretty excited. I'll, I'll do a video of uh, this. This is uh, has no part of uh, Bliss Box. Uh, this is me modding my cabinet, but I figured this uh, fit well with uh, uh, what I was doing here today. So uh, expect a video on that, and uh, you know, hopefully it all uh, works out on my cabinet uh, and looks well. So. That's it on the uh, hardware, guys. Uh, you will be getting uh, the Blissbox box here and all these cords um, when you do purchase through Blissbox. I'll put a link in the description below of where I found this guy. And this is uh, going to be really interesting for those that have cabinets and want to do the same thing where you don't want to mess with all these wires, uh, you know, well, at least the box itself and uh, this plug-in uh, every time you, you're ready to play. So. Um, I'll also include the auto hotkey that you'll need to convert into a, uh, an XE, and I'll show you how to do that um, here in a minute as well. But uh, that's it on the unboxing. Now let's uh, look at the APIs. All right, guys, so here is the uh, PC here, and uh, here is the website for Blissbox. You'll see uh, something like this, and you'll just go to store, and you'll scroll down and uh, select your... Uh, package that you want. Um, the item that I was showing you is the 4Play Basic uh, 18 Cables. Uh, kind of a funny name here, but um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Here's everything in the, the kit, everything that uh, is supported, and then the systems uh, supported as well. Uh, it's virtually any controller you can use at any time, so it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, in terms of support, uh, he does have a form uh, in case you do have questions. Um, I really haven't had to use it all that much uh, because it pretty much works out of box. Um, you will uh, need to uh, have auto, or sorry, uh, a Joy2Key uh, set up. Um, and you can see how to use that in uh, another video that I've done on uh, Joy2Key. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it guys. So uh, I don't know if he'll have the API or sorry, the uh, the flash on the Bliss Box to 2.0 when he does uh, deliver that to you uh, after you've purchased it or not, but it is easy to update and uh, you just do everything through the API. If you are on um, the 1. you know O version, uh, you'll need to update to uh, 2.0, and you can do that just by following these directions here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, guys. So. It works uh, really out of box. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. And I'm gonna pull up uh, the downloads that, um, you know, that are on his uh, site. Everything's in here. Uh, the flash tool, this is uh, for the 1.0 um, uh, flashing. Uh, you'll just press the device once it's plugged in and then it finds it and then it asks you for the hex file um, and you can get the hex files from uh, his site. Uh, but what you would do is you would find one of these and then you would uh, open it and uh, uh, it would read for step two. And then step three, you're just gonna uh, basically hold down that reset button that I was showing you by um, one of the ports on your bliss box. And you just uh, wait for feedback on this uh, message to say that it was successfully uh, updated. Now, if you're using uh, 2.0 or trying to get to 2.0, uh, there is a new API, which is exciting. Uh, well, it was for me because I could create a uh, auto hotkey to basically reset the Bliss button uh, player um, on the very first boot up. Um, you know, because I don't have my cabinet on 24 seven. Uh, when you first plug in Bliss box, you have to push that reset button. Uh, so you just go to the API, um, and this is what that looks like. Uh, the auto hotkey is what uh, triggers this. And what it does is it looks at the GUI and then it pushes the reset button for me um, whenever one of these things are plugged in. So actually I have the Bliss Box plugged in right now, uh, but I unplugged it and plugged it back in so you could see this. Uh, so you can see that right now it's not reading uh, player one. I've got a NES controller in here right now. Uh, but when I press the button, uh, to read, you can see now it is uh, readable and I can you know, push all these buttons. You can see one, two light up. I'm pushing the A and B button, the start, five and six, uh, and select, and then up, down, left, right. So that's the uh, NES controller. And uh, 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's Blissbox. It just picks it up and reads it. Um, if you go up to the tools, uh, you're going to see that I could set the player port order. Uh, what I did is I set the top left of my Blissbox. So when I've plugged in Blissbox and I've plugged in the USB to the Blissbox, uh, that cable there, um, when that cable is pointing up, uh, then the port on the top left is my player one and the port on the top right is my player four. So it just kind of uh, goes in a circle there. Uh, but since it's going to be in a cabinet, it doesn't matter what port is what, you just want to make sure that that port stays the same. So uh, you're going to set that port um, number for each one of your, uh, your, your HDMIs there that are on your bliss box. And once you've done that, you never have to do it again. So there's not a whole lot of setup, guys. Um, I'm just kind of showing, showing you around because there's not a whole lot of videos uh, that do. So uh, that's the API. And then we're gonna go, uh, let's see. Uh, also on your control panel, just so you guys know what's happening here. When you plug in the control panel, uh, what you're gonna find is um, the four play, AKA bliss box. And you're going to find the four ports that show up here. Um, this other stuff is uh, specific to my setup, but the ports here, if you right click, uh, so I'm, I've got port one uh, hooked up. If I go to properties, um, you know, you can see your basic stuff there. If I go to game control settings, uh, this is going to show you basically if everything's plugged in okay. And if I go to port one and hit properties, you're going to see that I also see what I just saw in the API. So that API that you were just looking at uh, really does streamline things and you really don't need to do this anymore. Uh, before, uh, you'd have to go to your control uh, settings here and you'd have to make sure that everything was reading. So um, if you are getting into the problem of, you know, things aren't reading when you're pushing the buttons, just push that reset button right outside your HDMI uh, port on your Bliss box. Uh, because likely uh, story, uh, it's just not uh, reading it yet. So um, that's what that API is, uh, or sorry, the uh, auto hotkey is all about. So I'm going to show you that now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up uh, Hyperspin. And we'll give that a second. All right, so you can see there is a blitz box on my Let's find uh, your all-time favorite game. And you can see a... a I, I mean, this was no, nothing fancy. I'll, I'll probably put music behind this just because it, you know, this is more of a press a keys one through four to reset each player's controller. So there you go. My arcade just told me what I've got to do. And so I'm going to launch this by just pushing uh, uh, my start button here. Okay. Launching. And launching. Once that happens, here you go. You can see uh, the Blissbox API is up and running. And if I push, uh, you know, player one, I just pushed the one button. You can see it just reset for me. So I did nothing on my bliss box. It just did it for me. So I'm gonna hit escape because I've just done that. Choose another game. And everything works. So I've got this on every wheel um, just so I can, uh, you know, freely just, you know, reset that uh, controller at will. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. So I'm gonna show this off um, just for a second. Loading game. And I'm gonna show you that it does in fact work. I've done nothing. Ahead of time. Loading complete. So you can see there, uh, I've done nothing ahead of time to prep for that. All I did was just start it up, uh, you know, based on my configurations. Uh, but there you go, guys. That's the Bliss Box. Uh, totally cool device, and uh, you can play all your old school controllers uh, right there, and it's ready to go. So. Uh, have fun. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.